Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on examples on quantifiers. Okay, how we are representing the quantifiers using two example problems. In the previous video, we are already discussed about uh, quantifiers. Okay, so and the types of quantifiers, please refer that video before watching this video. Okay, in this video, we have to solve two example problems on quantifiers. Okay, how we are representing the given statements in symbolic form using quantifiers through two example problems. Please understand carefully. Okay, so write the following statements in symbolic form using quantifiers. Okay, here there are four statements are there, something is good, everything is good, nothing is good, something is not good. Okay, so let us consider, let us consider, okay, x is good, x is good, okay, here x is nothing but subject is good is nothing but predicate okay so it can be represented by using what is the predicate here is good i am taking g so this is the predicate this predicate belongs to only one subject that is x x can be written within the parenthesis so x is good can be represented by using g of x where x is called as the subject or object or a variable. Okay, is good is the predicate that can be represented by g. Okay, within the parenthesis, we have to write the subject name. Okay, this predicate g belongs to only one subject. So then it can be called as a one place predicate. Okay, now by using this uh, uh, proposition function, we have to represent the above statements in symbolic form. Okay, so first one is uh, something is good. Something is good. So it can be rewritten as there is at least one x, there is at least one x such that such that x is good such that x is good okay here in this above statement can be rewritten as this one okay in this statement so what is the uh, what is the quantifier here there is at least, there is at least, okay, based on the keyword, there is at least, we have to write the quantifier name, so that is, there exists x, g of x, there exists x, g of x, okay, because something is the uh, keyword, that keyword uh, represents the existential quantifier, Okay, so I am writing the existential quantifier g of x. There is at least one x such that x is good. Okay, next, second statement. The second statement is everything is good. Everything is good can be rewritten as for all x such that x is good. For all x such that x is good. So the second statement can be rewritten as for all x such that x is good. Okay. For all x containing the keyword, that keyword represents the universal quantifier. So universal quantifier for all x such that x is good is nothing but g of x. Okay, for all x, g of x, that means uh, for all x such that x is good. Okay, there is at least one x such that x is good. 
Okay. So this statement can be rewritten as this one. This statement can be rewritten as this one. After that, based on that statement, we have to represent in symbolic form. Okay. Next, third statement. Nothing is good. Nothing is good means, okay, for all x, the above statement can be written as for all x such that such that x is not good. x is not good. Not good. Nothing is good means everything is not good. Everything is not good can be written as for all x such that x is not good. Okay. So for all x means this one for all x such that x is not good means negation of g of x. Okay. Next. Fourth one. Something is not good. Something is not good. That means there is, this statement can be rewritten as there is at least one at least one x such that such that x is not good. X is not good. Okay. So this statement can be rewritten as this one. Something means there is at least one x such that x is not good. Here nothing means so everything for all x such that x is not good. Everything for all x such that nothing is good means everything is not good. Such that x is not good. Everything means for all x such that x is good. Okay. Something is good means there is at least one x such that x is good. So here the fourth statement there is at least one x such that x is not good. That means there exists x negation of g of x. x is not good can be written as negation of g of x. First of all this statement the above statements can be rewritten as this one, this one, this one, this one. After that we have to represent the uh, statement in symbolic form by using the proposition function. Okay. Next one. Uh, second one. Uh, write the following statements in symbolic form. So all men are good. No men are good. Some men are good. Some men are not good. Okay. So here let, let us consider let us consider, okay, so X is a man, X is a man, okay, so in this one, X is the subject, is a man, is the predicate, so that can be represented by, is a man, is the predicate, that can be represented by M, okay, X is the subject, that is M of X, okay, next one, Another one, X is good. Okay, X is good. So, X is the subject, is good is the predicate. Okay, so here the predicate is G, so subject is X. Okay, so these four statements representing the, representing a particular man and he is good. Okay, according to that, we can say that X is a man can be represented by M of X. X is good can be represented by G of X. By using these two proposition functions, we have to represent the above statements using quantifiers in symbolic form. Okay, so the first statement is, now, the first statement all men are good. The above statement can be rewritten as for all x comma if x is a man man comma then x is good. If x is a man then x is good. Here for all x 
representing the universal quantifier for all x then if x is a man is nothing but m of x next x is good is nothing but g of x okay in between them what is the connective is there if then connective if then connective can be represented by using conditional symbol so for all x m of x conditional g of x okay for all x if x is a man then x is good okay so the above statement can be rewritten as this one for all x if x is a man then x is a good for all x is represented by for all x if the x is a man is represented by m of x x is good is represented by g of x the connective is if then if then connective can be represented by using conditional symbol okay next the second one no men are good no men are good means okay so the this statement can be rewritten as so no men means it belongs to all men okay for all x comma if x is a man if x is a man comma then x is not good x is not good okay so no men are good means every man is not good every man is not good means for all x if x is a man then x is not good okay it can be written as for all x can be written as for all x okay if x is a man x is a man is nothing but m of x next x is not good means negation of g of x okay if then connective in between them that is the conditional so for all x m of x conditional negation g of x for all x if x is a man then x is not good okay next third statement some men are good some men are good means it belongs to only some men okay there is there is at least one x there is at least one x comma there is at least one x comma x is a man x is a man and x is good x is good okay this statement can be written as there is at least one x x is a man and x is good okay so there is at least one x means there exist x comma x is a man is nothing but m of x x is good is nothing but g of x in between them and the connective is there so there is at least one x if x is uh, there is at least one x x is a man and x is good okay next one fourth one some men are not good so it belongs to only some men so it represents the existential quantifier okay there is at least one x there is at least one x comma x is a man and x is not good x is not good okay so there is at least one x means there exist x x is a man is nothing but m of x x is not good means negation g of x okay in between them and the connective is there so there is at least one x x is a man and x is not good okay so first of all the given statement can be uh, represented in rewritten form after rewritten after rewritten of the above statement then we can easily represent the uh, quantifier and also a uh, given statement in symbolic form so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your 
friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so devela srinivas rao okay directly we have to write it there is no problem at all suppose the above statements can be rewritten in simple form then it is very easily easy to represent in symbolic form thank you